Right. Welcome back to another episode of my movie review series, episode 352. Now, last week, last week I said that I was going to cover one of the greatest Japanese animated films of all time. One of the greatest. Yeah, I've been covered one of the greatest Japanese animated films of all time. And yeah, what could be, uh, yeah, yeah, Akira, Akira, yeah, 1988, yeah, man, I tell you, yeah, this movie, man, yeah, one of the most influential films ever, one of the most influential films ever, I mean, you, you name it, this movie um, inspired it. Parts of this movie, it gave life to um, other forms out there. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah. You know, you watch, um, you watch, yeah, I'm, I'm about to be a name, name dropper here. But yeah, man, you watch other forms of uh, entertainment, and you're going to see that, uh, yeah, this movie, yeah, it carries a huge legacy, yeah, in other forms of animation, in films, and TV, you know what I mean, yeah, you name it, it's there, yeah, big cultural impact this movie hit, this movie laid on you, I mean, yeah, you know, Influenced many, influenced numerous works of animation, comics, film, television, music, video games. You know? Yeah, Ghost in the Shell, Battle Angel Alita, Cowboy Bebop, Surreal Experiments, Lane, and Elf and Elf, Elf and Lied. You know. You know. Hell. Even uh, you know, with um, with uh, television stuff. You know, Batman Beyond and Stranger Things. You know, video games like Switchblade. You know, hell, I remember, I remember watching um, Tom McFarlane's interview at the end of uh, Spawn, Spawn season two. You know, the the show went on uh, HBO. I remember, I remember watching the interview, and uh, he uh, mentioned Akira, and uh, this is and this was the uh, inspiration, one of the one of the inspirations behind that particular show. So yeah, I mean, I tell you. I tell you, you know, you see the movie Ready Player One. Yeah, you know, you see uh, the motorcycle. You know, Kanata's motorcycle was featured in that movie. I mean, yeah, you know. And speaking of Kanata's motorcycle, you know, we all know about the uh, the famous fancy maneuver now known as the Akira Slide. But yeah, you know. We now know about the, uh, the fancy maneuver. Yeah, man, I tell you, Akira, this movie right here, yeah, it, it, yeah, it is it. He influenced everything. He influenced everything. Yeah, this is one of the coolest movies. One of the coolest Japanese animated movies that you could ever watch. One of the coolest movies, period, that you can ever watch. You know? So yeah, man, yeah, this movie, you know, not only it influenced a lot of a lot of uh, other forms of entertainment, you know, it gave life to a lot of other forms of entertainment. But yeah, you know, yeah, this movie, you know, it's a um, a cyberpunk action film. I, mean, I don't understand how somebody could, you know. Narrowed down to being a horror film, you know, maybe, 
maybe because you know Tatsumo went out of control. You know his powers were out of control. He turned into that huge mass of flesh and blood. Um, yeah, I mean that's horrific on on its own. But yeah, he cannot he cannot count the entire movie into being a horror film based off of that. I mean, come on, let's, let's be serious here. But then you know horror fans, you know they'll do anything to count something as a horror film, you know. I mean, hey, trust me, I know. I've seen it happen. But yeah, man, yeah, this movie, though, you know, this movie, um, yeah, set in the dystopian, set in a dystopian futuristic 2019, you know, after, uh, after uh, a, an, uh, an explosion that triggered a war, uh, uh, an, an explosion that triggered a world war back in um, 1988, you know, 31, 31 years later, you know, we got this uh, this this, this uh, dystopia called Neo Tokyo, and yeah. Yeah, the um, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, it tells the story of uh, Kanada, leader of a Baka gang called the Capsules, whose childhood friend Tetsuo acquire yeah, yeah, his friend Tetsuo acquires special, inc acquires incredible telekinetic abilities. Yeah, you know. Yeah, after yeah, after, uh, after he crashes uh, his buddy's after he crashes his buddy's motorcycle, you know, he, you know, he just he just triggered inside of inside of him, triggered in his head, and uh, he started getting visions, these horrific visions, you know, he started getting, you know, you see uh, his own guts splurt out all over the place. You see, you try to pull him back in, but yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, you know, yeah, he, yeah, he requires incredible telekinetic abilities, and eventually threatened by, and eventually threatening an entire military complex amid chaos and rebellion in uh, Neo Tokyo. So yeah, man, I tell you, yeah, this movie, you know, yeah, it just gives you, this movie, yeah, it gives you everything. It gives you everything. Mostly, it gives you a lot of, uh, it gives you a lot of questions, especially at the end of it, you know. I mean, yeah, this movie, yeah, it is a wonder to behold. Believe me when I say this, it is a wonder to behold, you know. The animation, it is just amazing, top-notch, amazing, you know, yeah, the, um, yeah, you know, you know, the way it's all drawn out, you know, the way, the way it looks, the way it's all drawn out, it is just amazing, and yeah, you know, you see, you see, um, You know, you know, you see every single detail, every single detail. I mean, th this movie is like a master class for animation. You know, it, it is indeed a master class for animation. And yeah, yeah. Um, Katsuro Otomo directed this thing. Yeah. Yeah, he called. Yeah, he called in there. He directed this whole, he directed this whole thing, and yeah, man, I tell you, yeah, what a job he did! What a job he did! Whew. But yeah, yeah, every single detail mapped out. You know, the movement is fluid. You know, the movement is fluid. You cannot, you know, you cannot. Um, give any uh, any other type of distinction 
of how incredible this is. But yeah. But yeah, you know, the action, the action is great, you know. And yeah, the ending, the ending of the whole thing, you know, you know, when uh, Tatsumo, you know, you know, yeah, yeah, you see the, you know, you see throughout, you know, when I'm, um, when I'm, um, his, uh, his telekinetic abilities start to, um, flourish, you know, you can see that uh, he's starting to get this, um, this sense of, this sense of, uh, the sense of power, he's starting to get drunk off the, off of, of, of the power, you know, you know, more ways than one, you start to, you start to see him get drunk off the power, and yeah, you know, he start to, um, yeah, he start to um, just grow out of control, you know, even when he lost his arm, you know, <laughs> even when he lost his arm, you know, he tried to, uh, you know, he tried to get it back with a, a metallic arm, but then, you know, shit just start to, uh, he really start to, uh, you know, just grow, grow out, grow out everywhere, he tried to hide it in this, in this, um, in this, um, bed, in the this, uh, this, it's a red cloak he tied, he tied around himself, and yeah, you know, he started to, um, you know, he started to, um, basically he started to, uh, just, just plain go crazy, you know, he was drunk off of power, he started to, he started to go crazy, and this thing, you know, he's fighting his friends, he's, he's fighting, um, Kanata, he's fighting K, you know, he, he's starting, he's starting to, uh, fight, fight his friends, and yeah, they have, and they, they have to stop him. Next thing you know, yeah, you know, you know, yeah, he loses his arm again, but yeah, it just, it just spurs out, it spreads all over, yeah, just huge, just huge mass of flesh, blood and flesh, he starts to take over his entire body. He's trying to gain control, but he's getting he, but more. He's trying to gain control. The more out of control he becomes, you know. Yeah, he is just completely unrecognizable at this point. You know, you got these uh, you got these little things that that they look like kids, and uh, they got like different colors on them. But yeah, you know, you got these uh, these little individ individuals called um, uh uh. uh He, these are these are little individuals. They call them espers. Yeah, these espers. You know, you know they're the only ones that can. Um, it seems like they're the only ones that can um, subdue this whole situation. And the only way that they can do that is that they have to awaken. Akira from his um crown slumber. So yeah, they they awaken Akira, you know, he confronts um Tatsumo and he lets out this uh this singularity, you know, this big gleam of light. And yeah, he pretty pretty much um he he pretty much um Hides, um, he pretty much puts some Tetsuo into a portal, and Kanata, he, you know, he brings Kanata with him. And yeah, yeah, and like I said, like I said earlier, you know, yeah, there's a lot of confusion that happened at the end of the movie, but yeah, you know, but yeah, you know, like I, you know, the way I figured, the way I figured, you know. It's you know it's the whole lost in translation type thing you know between um, American you know you know American writing and um, what the Japanese have already established. So yeah you know. So yeah, I, yeah to me that's that's what I think you know my my little my little little theory. But yeah, I tell you though, man. I tell you, you know, yeah, it uh, it all comes ahead once um, once um, Kanata he sees Tetsuo's, 
you know, he he sees he sees his his his, uh, his memories, you know, and then you see how uh, Akira, you know, you know Akira, you know how he uh, made the uh, de uh, the destruction of a. Uh, of Japan years ago, yeah, you know the um, recreation with our uh, you know, recreation of it, and we got Neo Tokyo right afterwards. But yeah, you know, but yeah, you know, at the end of it, you know, I think um, Tatsuo, you know, he uh, he becomes what Akira has. Um, has already been, you know, yeah, because you know, they are they are discovered. They, yeah, they are discovered before that he was uh that he he had the same psychic abilities as um uh, Akira. So, in a way, for me, in a way, I think that um Tatsuo becomes the new Akira symbolically. You know, but yeah, I mean, yeah, this, this is, you know, it's, it's, an, it's an, a very interesting story. This, this is a very amazing, amazing film. I am so glad, so glad I could find this thing on Hulu. I'm so glad I've watched it again after all these years. And I'm so glad that I'm reviewing it right now for all of you cats out there. Yeah, this is, uh, this has been a long time coming. A long time coming. I mean, back when I did um, back when I did um, um Ghost in the Shell, I was uh, planning on doing Akira, but I ain't know where to find it at. So yeah, you know, good things come to those who wait. That's what they're sure. <laughs> yeah, not only I found this movie. On Hulu, but I found it in the dub version too. So yeah, I got a much better understanding of it. So yeah, man, I tell you, this is yeah, this is great though. This is this is great. But, yeah, I tell you though, man. Yeah, like I said, this movie, yeah, it is truly a wonder to behold. Highly into, highly influential. You know, it left a legacy that will last longer than forever. You know. Yeah, not to um, quote Toy Story, but yeah, this movie, yeah, it went to infinity and beyond. I mean, yeah, <laughs> believe it or not. But yeah, man, nothing really much more to say on it. I mean, yeah, this, this is just a an amazing film, an amazing film, very, very detailed. The animation is top notch. I mean, the look of Neo Tokyo in animation, you know, you know, you want to see a cyberpunk city, you know, this is it right here, you know. So yeah, you know, this movie it, it is a straight up five out of five. You know, it, it's that great. It's that amazing. And yeah, that's. It's pretty much my review, Jack, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> yeah, now next week, man, next week, this the next two weeks gonna be pre-recorded, but next week I'm I am going fast and I'm going furious once again. Yeah. So yeah, you keep it locked right here for that. Check out my other show right here. Subscribe to me right here. But in the meantime, in between time, Jack, this show is off. <laughs>